Brian. Cass, can you head back to the data center quickly? What's the issue? The team are just finishing up going over the data from P3. They want to confirm some aspects of the tire strategy with you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay, let, let me just finish up here. We'll be waiting, uh, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Brian. Casper, we think you can push for the fastest lap. Oh no. Yep, we're in a strong position. See what you can do. No problem. Gap ahead is 2.0 seconds. We have five laps of fuel remaining. this lap of the race, keep this up.
Our gap to the car in front is 1.9 seconds. Three laps of fuel remaining. Trailing our teammate by 5.9 seconds. They're on old softs. They're in sick. The time last lap was a 1 minute 37.3. Keep it up. The gap to the car ahead is 1.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are three laps old. The time last lap was a 1.37.7. front is 3.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are four laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 37.0. You're gaining by two seconds a lap.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. That's quite some achievement for Aston Martin's Kasper Ackermann getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often you see any team outside the top three pick up that extra point. Aston Martin went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Aston Martin now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams and they're certainly proving themselves. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumours you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you? I'm coming to the team dinner, Brian. Beautiful place we booked. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. Terrific! Wonderful! Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Hey, Zo. Hey, hey, everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Hmm, we'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Hmm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay, I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> You've been wonderful. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening, and let's... Push for four! Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent has been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Well, everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just... I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Kenneth. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Alfa Romeo are catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Mercedes. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that.
Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce? Aiden, Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tyres in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. Butler and Giovinazzi's lap times increasing. Uh, I still had time to catch them. Roger, we're on fresher tyres than they are. Push, push. Let's put the pressure on. Yeah, copy. Teammate ahead is 28.8 seconds. They're on old softs. They're in eighth.
to the car behind is 2.4 seconds. Giovinazzi should be close now. Let's push. You should be seeing Butler soon. Let's keep it clean, please, Cass. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Five laps of fuel remaining. We're catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tires need to last till the end of the race. Okay, you're in the top ten. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly well-deserved win. Aston Martin continue to put the pressure on Alfa Romeo. 
that gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Aston Martin, it's very much game on. Yeah, when I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Aston Martin pegged to be competing with Alfa Romeo. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Solid performance out there today, Casper. You must be pleased. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season. And the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alfa Romeo. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alfa Romeo. So, any time we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Aston Martin are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us any time soon. What's your response to that? Sounds to me like uh, the words of a man running scared. Great, well, that's everything. Zoe. Daddy. Hey, Lils. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, one or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Hello? Apparently she enjoys hanging up on you these days. <laughs> so it seems. All set? Yeah, all set. The odds are shortening on the fourth place finish for Aston Martin. It's a shame. I enjoyed being the underdog. You've still got to beat Butler. We've still got to beat Alfa Romeo, you mean? That too, I guess. Right, you go and prepare. See ya. Bye.
Fellas! Sell out crowd this, ain't? Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying, you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh... Well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun! Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. I mean, you know, it was very entertaining. Now, you just mope around, bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devon. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. <laughs> what, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. Okay, Casper, you're doing great. Let's keep this up. Here's the butler ahead. Butler? You're closing on him. No theatrics, please, Casper. Yeah, understood. Sat in P8. We're trailing our teammate by 32.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in first. The time last lap was a 1.37. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. Well, this season promises to end in quite the dramatic fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Aston Martin very much closing the gap on Alfa Romeo. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumoured to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. 
I can't wait to see how it all plays out. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end, but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Yet another victory over rivals Alfa Romeo today, Casper, and more speculation over whether or not you can steal that fourth place. Well, yes, and rightfully so, in my opinion. We've had our eye on fourth place for a while now, even when others have ridden us off. We're working tirelessly to make every second of every race count, and it's right that that's reflected in the standings. We know what we're capable of, and we know we can do it. Your retirement grows ever closer, of course. Is that something you think about? Yes, of course. It's easy to take a race for granted when it's all you ever do. But when you only have a certain number of races left, each one takes on a greater importance somehow. I think my retirement has allowed me to enjoy my racing a little bit more, and I'm grateful for that. Are you looking forward to your retirement? How will you spend it? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? I'm still an F1 driver, and I still plan on driving the remaining races. Ask me again when the season's over. Great. Well, that's everything. Aiden. Casper, hey, we're closing in on Alfa Romeo. Yeah, good race out there. I think we can do it, Casper. I think it's on. You know it's not going to be easy, right? Well, the fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just wanted to say congrats. Yeah, you too. See ya. Bye. Ryan. Casper, debrief has been put back 10 minutes, so you've got a little more time. Okay, thanks. Great race out there today. Who'd have thought we'd been pushing for fourth just a few months ago? Yeah, well, you know what they say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. Whoa, brilliant. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> That's inspiring is what that is. You keep fighting those fights, Casper. See you at the debrief. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Brian. Casper! Cass! Cassie boy! 
Cassie boy. A <laughs> big day today. Huge. Yeah. The last race of your career. <laughs> How does it feel? Well, I don't know. I guess I feel... Oh, I'm so excited, let me tell you. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm excited for my retirement. Oh, you're going to be great out there today. I can feel it in my bones. You're going to be terrific. Just remember what I taught you. Hmm, and what was that exactly? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I sure will miss you, Cass. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Not literally. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Be brilliant. Be wonderful. Good luck. Hello. Hey Cass, how's it going? Yeah, fine. Just a little bit... Sad? Yeah, maybe. How's Lils? She's good. We're just grabbing an early lunch. Do you want to talk to Daddy? Why aren't you racing anymore, Daddy? Well, because Daddy's retiring. Can I retire? <laughs> you need a job first, Lily. Hey, who's your favorite driver? I like Aiden. Aiden? Did mommy tell you to say that? <laughs> Can you put her back on the phone? Aiden Jackson. Bye, Daddy. No, no, just hang on, Lily. Hello? Aiden Jackson. Aiden. Hey, Casper. How's it going? Yeah, fine. You okay? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just wanted to wish you well, really. And say thank you, you know, for everything. Hey, you've got nothing to thank me for. And look, I'm sorry. Mm, I think we've apologized enough by now. I guess we have. So, the last race of an incredible career. I'll be honored to witness it. Thanks, Aiden. I'll see you down there. See you down there. Welcome to Abu Dhabi and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit. This is a track known for its long, long back straight and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking, going into the slow speed corners that follow it. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns eight and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. Aston Martin could still catch Alfa Romeo today, but it's a pretty tall order. And are you still surprised they are where they are? I am, to be honest, yeah. When you look back at how they finished last season, the fight they had in Canada, the antagonism on and off track, these two really weren't getting on. I think a lot of people, myself included, had written them off. Well, they've been nothing if not surprising, the Aston Martin pair. Of course, neither driver may be with them next season. Yeah, it's Ackerman's last race today. I'll certainly be sorry to see him go. And they say Jackson and Mercedes are in talks, so who knows? Well, Mercedes continue to be cagey about that open seat for next season, claiming that no decision's been made yet, and they'll see how this season concludes first. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Butler, Norris and Carlos Sainz, Sonoda, Ackerman, Aidan Jackson and Giovinazzi. 
Mazepin, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo and Mick Schumacher. Latifi and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Giovinazzi's retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Aston Martin, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. Quicker than Butler now, Casper. Outstanding work. We've got a chance here. Roger. Let's make that push. We're all behind you. I'm on it. Gap to teammate behind is 3.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 14. Places down on Devon. Okay, the gap behind is two point four seconds. lap of the race so far. Devon's currently in sixth place, P6. Devon is three.
is currently in sixth place, P6. Well, they're not far ahead now, Cass. Keep on it. Devon is directly ahead of you. Martin potentially on track to really upset Alfa Romeo here, with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman, he's trying to win that place back, but which way is he going to go? Down the inside he goes, and they've hit each other! That's really aggressive from Devon Butler, he sends both cars spinning out, Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him! Too late on the brakes, I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Aston Martin car's still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing, Ant. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty, but he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant, but can Kasper Ackermann's Aston Martin car finish? You OK, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, but there's out the race. Butler's out, we have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Casper. Okay. You need to go for third, aid. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? You need to pass Casper, Aiden. Copy. He says you'd better get on that podium. Uh, that would get the team fourth. Maybe, if Casper's car holds out. I guess I'd better get on that podium then. Gap to car in front is 4.5 seconds. We have five laps of fuel remaining.
we've taken fifth. Starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop. of fuel remaining. teammate by 4.5 seconds. Gap ahead is 9.4 seconds. Even a race or two ago, you wouldn't have believed it, but they finished fourth in the Constructors. If the rumours are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be, and an incredible end to an incredible career.
for Kasper Ackerman, who somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Kasper! <laughs> we did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Uh, no. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. A video fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, I'll stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? <laughs> this isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment out there. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? Best not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now well, the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. You've earned it.